What's up, YouTube family? CJ here with the Centipede Grass Channel. Thank you for tuning to last week's video on the importance of soil tests and the things that I look for in them. Uh, this week, because of some questions that I got, I actually want to go over how to actually take a soil test. So tune in and let's go. So when I do a soil test, I use a soil probe. This is one that I got for like 30 bucks off of Amazon. I did have a cheaper one before, but it did not have this little uh, piece that pushes the dirt out. And I actually cut my hand on the inside of these, which sometimes are very sharp when you're trying to get the dirt out. So it was cheaper, uh, but like I said, I cut my hand and paid for it pretty good. Uh, so I definitely would advise getting the one that has this little contraption to push the dirt out. But yeah, they're, they're bigger than this, they're smaller than this. Comes with a little foot pedal if you're dealing with compacted soil. Um, but most of the time when I do a soil test, I'm gonna use my soil probe. Uh, you can also use just a regular like garden spade. Um, of course, it's going to be more work. You actually have to dig into the ground and so on and so forth. But um, yep, these are the two things that you probably would use when you want to do a soil test. Uh, this right here, get off Amazon. This right here is probably more readily available. Uh, but either one of them will get the job done. When I'm doing a soil test, I try to go in like a zigzag motion. This is just to get a good soil sample of the entire lawn so if i was starting with my lawn uh with this what's up ginger with this right here being the front edge i would kind of like take my first sample right here and then i would walk towards the middle all right probably take another sample somewhere in here and then go to the edge and take a third sample somewhere in here all right, then I will turn back around and go back in a zigzag motion. All right, this way, that way, this way. This is going to ensure that I have a good sample of the entire lawn. Um, I'm going to repeat that, of course, on the sides and the back of the lawn. The only way I would send off a different sample for the same yard is if the soil differed um, or, you know, like if the front yard was sandy and the backyard was clay or even if one part of the soil that I knew was like super compacted or it was affected by big trees or they had a bunch of vegetation that was different in the front yard. Uh, all of those cases would have to exist or even if uh, one part of the yard held more water for some reason. All of those things would have to exist before I did a separate test or a separate sample for the same lawn. But for the most part, if it has, you know, if it's the same lawn, even if it's front back, it's separated by the fence, I can pretty much, um, send off the same sample and know that that sample has good integrity. So depending on where you get your samples done at is going to determine how you want to send them in. I use Clemson University. Um, so they will send you a bag that you can fill up. Of course, you want to fill it up to the bag fill line to determine how much of a sample to use. Um, but since I send in so many at one time, I just kind of put these in Ziploc bags, throw a description on them um, and make sure that description uh, corroborates with whatever I put on the actual form that I fill out and uh, I mail these to them. Um, usually I get about 12 samples so that soil probe or even with the garden spade that I was using I'm going to get 12 to 15 samples and I know that that's going to fill up or, or provide enough soil for them to run the test on even though I don't have the bags I just know from experience that that's enough and when I'm doing these soil Pro, that's what comes out. They call these cores. But um, when you're dealing with a lawn, you want your cores three to four inches long. I've heard that it's different for crops and garden soils. I think those are like six to eight inches long, uh, but that's not my expertise. Like I said, when I'm doing uh, soil samples for lawns, I get them three to four inches long. Um, and like I said, I do about 12 of these, depending on how big the yard is. Um, going in that zigzag motion for the front, the side, and the back, just like I said, to get a good uh, inclusive soil sample of the entire lawn. Another thing, unless you're doing a test for organic matter, try to get as much of the grass out of here as you can. Uh, the roots that are inside of the soil sample is not so much an issue, but if you have like loose pieces of grass, which you're inevitably, inevitably going to pull up, when you're doing a soil sample, just pick those out as you go. Uh, they could have some effect on the test. 
So these tests are six bucks with Clemson. All your personal information goes at the top. Uh, if you go on their website, it'll tell you what soil code to use. That's 094 is the soil code for centipede grass. You write a little description beside it. Now, if you wanted to do organic matter or all of those other tests to the right, as you can see, I only have the standard check, but all of those other tests come with an additional cost. Um, I filled this out. What I wrote on the bag, I would also write right here, which I'll go back and fill this in. And then my page total 48. I simply go get a money order for those 48 bucks. Um, I put all this into a box. I actually fill out all of my um, things for USPS. I do that online and they actually come pick this up from my front door. So it's has to like getting blood work done at the doctor. You're not just gonna be taking stuff because somebody told you to and the same thing should apply for your lawn. Don't just put stuff down because it's a certain time of the year or somebody says this is the best thing to put down at this time. Soil tests are super simple to do. They're super easy, especially if you had a tool for it. Like I said, 30 bucks is all that, that uh, soil probe cost me. Or you can use the spade if you want to. doesn't really matter, but get a soil test done on your lawn. Um, that soil test costs six bucks. It'll probably cost you another six bucks to ship it. We're talking 15 bucks here. We have a good plan for our lawn and we know exactly what we need to put down and why. That's going to give you the best results this year. So, hey, I'm an advocate for soil tests. Um, get yours done. And I live in the South, so I use Clemson University, but any university or extension center near where you stay uh, should provide a soil testing service. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Um, please hit that subscribe and that like button. Our next video will be in two weeks. We're going into February, which is when we do our next uh, treatment for the lawn. So hopefully by the time we do our next video, that product will be here and we can do kind of a product review. I'll let you know what I'm putting down and why. This would be something that most probably have never heard of. If somebody's really into organic lawn care, uh, that's what, you know, they've probably heard about it and they've probably put it down. But uh, it'd be a good product to add to your arsenal. And uh, I'm excited about it. So again, check us out in two weeks. Thank you everybody for viewing. And until next time, peace.